Hey, welcome back to the studio. It is story time with Rich. And I'm going to tell you about how I quit my job of five years two weeks ago. It's just insane. All the all the stuff you used to do, um, suddenly you aren't doing it. And I'm a little nostalgic for it, and I'm also really not. So let me tell you guys about um, my old job, what I used to do, and why I quit, and what my plan is now. Um, and yeah, YouTube's kind of a part of the plan. It's not the huge part of the plan. I wish it was some sort of really awesome, dramatic, inspiring story about how I quit my job for art, but it's not. I'm not there yet. Um, but let me get into it, and I'll tell you what my plan is now. Get your drinks, coffee, vodka, whatever you're drinking. You could be a night shifter. I don't know what you do. But if you were like me, then you were a night shifter. And you were a correctional officer. That's right. So before I get too far into talking about why I left my job of five years, my career, because I did see myself possibly retiring from there at one point, um... Let's talk about this drawing here. I'm drawing Rogue in a real 90s costume. It's classic. classic. I think it's a genius design. Um, Jim Lee did a great job with this costume because I think he's the one who designed it. But anyway, if you are into uh, comic book art, manga art, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. Like this video. Help a brother out. I'm trying to get this channel monetized. It's part of my backup plan and why I quit my job. No, like I said, it's not that dramatic. Uh, this channel isn't doing that well, though I hope it does, and I will continue working on it regularly every Tuesday and Friday. I will be uploading new videos. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. Um, today, I'm not going to be talking about the art so much. I'm going to be talking about quitting my job, and I hope you guys find it, uh, I don't know, entertaining in the very least, and maybe enlightening in other ways. So let's talk a little bit about corrections. Uh, corrections is the occupation of working in a jail, uh, for those that don't know. Um, matter of fact, I'll just call it a jail from now on. I'm a civilian. I don't have to worry about that stuff. I'm not in on the technicalities of it. Um, but I used to be a correctional officer. It was um, The job itself was okay. It was very interesting, very exciting day to day. Uh, but there's lots of overtime and lots of random spontaneous overtime that you wouldn't know about just kind of pops up at the end of your shift, you know, and they're asking you like 10 minutes before you leave. As a matter of fact, you're in the break room trying to leave and they're like, oh man, we just had another call out. You mind staying over? Because a jail is an essential position. Um, you're considered essential. You're considered essential personnel, which means that it's a 24-7 operation, holidays, weekends, um, just all the time. Somebody... People have to be there all the time. Um, so if people call out, that affects the rest of the staff and somebody else has to cover for them. So uh, because they don't have enough staffing to begin with to plan for these call outs, which, you know, they should because it always happens. But people don't want to do the job, I guess. Um, I don't know why. It is very exciting. And if you want to be in law enforcement, this is a great second and even a great transition into law enforcement if you're able to. Um, so the parts of the job that I liked, it was just the officers. the fellow, My fellow officers, I liked them the most. They're all really good people. I enjoyed working with them. Um, the inmates uh, were not the reason why I quit. So, But I won't call them a perk of the job. It was just, I don't know. They were almost always entertaining, um, either in a good way or a bad way. They're always throwing insults at you. You just got to have thick skin, you know, and ignore it, you know, like water rolling off a duck. Um, 
And of course you can reply back. I mean, yeah, me and my wife joke about this. She's been in the customer service industry forever. And I'm like, yeah, I work in the customer service industry too. The difference is I can tell my customers to F off. So it's, it is very different. Um, my customers, majority of them are repeat customers. They're always coming back. No matter how much they say they hate it and they'll never do drugs again, they always come back. It is a very strange industry to work in. Um, but let's get into why I quit being a correctional officer after five years. Um, toxic work environment. The reason why I quit was not because of the inmates. It was entirely because of the administration and how they were running the jail. And there's just too many examples to give as to how poorly ran and mismanaged everything is there. Uh, so the easiest way for me to describe it is to just throw out some numbers, like seven officers quitting in a month. Um, they hired two on and seven quit. Um, it's like six steps backwards every month. That's what they're doing. And now hiring is so slow and so bad they're now offering signing bonuses of fifteen thousand dollars it is just absolutely insane um i quit entirely because of the admin and they've screwed me over many 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 times over my five years and you know they they drive away good officers and then they hire kids you know like this is their first job this cannot be your first job working with with drug addicts and abusers and murderers and people who are experts in manipulating people like you can hire naive kids for this job but that's exactly what they're doing i could literally talk for hours and hours about how terrible this place is but i'm not going to i want this to be a more uplifting video you know because i'm gone i'm out of there but i can't stop thinking about the place it's terrible <laughs> i'm like in this in this text group chat with a bunch of people that still work there and I'm like I'm just still I'm still in it and it's weird because I don't have to go there and I love not having to shave anymore so anyway let me tell you about my current plans what I'm doing what's coming up and about this new season of my life because um, that's what it is it's a new season a new chapter and I'm super excited about it so right now what I'm doing is I'm working on my YouTube channel. This is going to be updated regularly Tuesdays and Fridays. And you can follow me on Instagram for in-between periods. I'm going to be posting in the community tab on here. Go and check that out. <clears throat> and I hope you guys support me here. Uh, I would really appreciate it. Um, trying to build a community. I want to help other artists improve their art. And I want to improve my art. I want this to kind of be like a... Uh, you know, kind of a place where we can share knowledge and, and share our art. Um, and I focus, again, on a lot of comics, anime, and manga, and kind of the cross-section there. I feel like there's, an, there's a lot of overlap, and people don't really address that, because what is manga? Manga is comics. So it's, this channel is basically a lot of sequential uh, art styles and, and that kind of whole, whole thing there. Um, and if you guys know of Joe Mad, uh, he he's like what got me into comics and made me want to do this. So I owe a lot to Joe Mad. It just it, he's so influential on me personally. You know his art style and and everything. It just like when I saw that when I was 12 years old, it was like he reached out of the comic book, grabbed me by the neck, and shook me. Like his art had such a huge impact on me. Um, so yeah, this is this is part of my plan, I and mean, I would never be so careless as to say this is the whole plan because this channel that it right now I'm at only I'm at like 610 subscribers right now as of recording this, so I'm not making any money on this, but I enjoy it so much, and I think it definitely has the potential to make uh, make me some kind of money and. Not that that's the whole reason for me doing this. I friggin' love sharing my art and talking with other people about art and comic books and manga and anime, even even games too. But I'm not really a gamer anymore. So, um, but like I said, it's just part of it. I also uh, have a part-time job, and I work with my wife. She has a bakery, um, 
it's a small bakery right now, but me working with her has helped her, you know, kind of streamline and improve and she's able to put out more. So that's really helping the family there. And I have two kids, so there's no way I can be so reckless as to just quit my job and just do YouTube and make no money. Um, but I also am going to be going back to school in January. And in order to do that, I needed this one part-time job. And it just happened to be like, oh, well, it's kind of now or never. They have an opening right now. And it's like if I didn't jump on it now, I might lose it. I might not be able to get it. So that's what I did. I jumped on it. And it seemed like the right moment. So through working at the jail, I've learned a lot about myself. I've learned a lot about life. And I kind of learned, you know, you just got to you gotta take advantage of things. And life is short, but it's also long. You know, you only have as much time as you have. And I'm just kind of done giving my time to that place. You know, it was a terrible work environment. And gives everybody anxiety and depression and it was just terrible I was like I don't want to live like that anymore I don't want to I don't want to be around my kids you know angry all the time because work has that effect on you you know um but anyway I appreciate you guys being here and supporting me bye